Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to add three mixed numbers. But first, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, one half is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator two. Nice! In our example, we're going to add three and one half, plus five and two thirds, plus nine and one fourth. To find the sum, first we add the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 3, 5 and 9. Come over here. So we put 3 plus 5 plus 9. And this is equal to 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 9 is 17. 17. Next, we put 17 in the answer. We have the sum of the whole numbers. It's time to add the fractions. The fractions are 1 half, 2 thirds and 1 fourth. So we put one half, one half plus two thirds, two thirds plus one fourth. As you can see, these three fractions have different denominators. To find the sum, we need the least common multiple of the denominators. The denominators are two, three, and four. The first multiples of two are two times one is two, two times two is four. Then we have six, eight, 10, 12, 12, 14, 14, and so on. The first multiples of three are three times one is three, three times two is six, and then we have nine, then comes 12, 15, 18, another one, 21, and so on, so on. The first multiples of four are four times one is four, 4 times 2 is 8, then we have 4 times 3, and that is 12, then we have 16, then comes 20, 24, 28, and so on. As you can see, the smallest number that we can find in the three lists is 12. 12 over here, 12 over here, 12 over here. Perfect! 12 is the least common multiple of the denominators or the least common denominator. So first, we're going to convert one half to an equivalent fraction with denominator 12. By one number, by one number, should we multiply 2 to get 12? By 6, right? Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So we multiply 1 by 6. And 1 times 6 is 6. Perfect! Instead of working with one half, we're going to work with 6 twelfths. Next, we're going to convert two thirds to an equivalent fraction with denominator 12. By what number should we multiply 3 to get 12? By 4, perfect! Now we multiply 2 by 4 and 2 times 4 give us 8. Then we're going to convert 1 fourth to an equivalent fraction with denominator 12. Pay attention! By what number should we multiply 4 to get 12? By 3. And 1 times 3 give us 3. Nice! Here we have three fractions with the same denominator. 12, 12, 12. We put 12 one more time and we continue by adding the numerators. 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 3 give us 17. 17? The resulting fraction is 17 twelfths. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 17 twelfths is an improper fraction given that the numerator 17 is greater than the denominator 12. Since we don't want an improper fraction in the final answer, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Ready? So, how many times does 12 go into 17? How many times does 12 go into 17? Well, 12 goes into 17 one time. Then we multiply. 1 times 12 is 12. To get 17, we need to add 5. Once again, 1 times 12 is 12. To get 17, we need to add 5. Next, the denominator stays the same. 12 come over here. Lastly, we add 1 and 5 twelfths to 17. So we put over here plus, plus 1 and 5, 5 twelfths. And here we have the sum of a whole number and a mixed number. Don't worry, we just need to follow the same steps we have seen in this video. We'll start by adding the whole numbers and 17 plus 1 Give us 18. 18, that is correct. Then we're going to add the fractions. However, we only have one fraction over here, and that fraction is 5 
Well, son, that's it, that's it, this is the final answer. In that way, 3 and 1 half plus 5 and 2 thirds plus 9 and 1 fourth give us 18 and 5 twelfths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out that playlist. Over here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!